Hello, I'm Brian Noble, CEO of Family Policy Institute of Washington. Hi, and I'm Brad Payne, the president of FPIW Action. A couple of disclaimers before we get started. Uh, nothing uh, in this recording should be construed as an endorsement of the candidate, nor the candidate's endorsement of FPIW or FPIW Action. It's simply a public service as a meet and greet the candidate. Also, this will be recorded and on multiple platforms. All right, well, Pat, welcome. I'm going to ask the Thank first you. question. It's uh, uh, kind of a three-part question. One is, if you could state for everybody listening in today your name, the position you're running for, and then give us a little background about yourself and then your family. Sure. So I'm Pat Bell. I'm a candidate for State House in the 7th District, which spans all or part of seven counties in the Northeast, largest district in the state. I'm running to defend faith, family, and freedom. I'm a Christ follower and on fire for Jesus, and it's a big reason why I'm running in this race. Um, but I'm also a husband, a father, a family rancher, and a big advocate of upholding our constitutional rights. Excellent. What is motivating you to run for office? Well, that's a good question. I get it often. I'd say the single largest motivator is just the attack on the family that we're seeing in our culture and in our country, whether it's coming from government or other enemies of the family that are out there. Uh, that was principally why I decided to run. Uh, I have two young kids in public schools. I've been in, in the battle with our school boards uh, since even before COVID. But during COVID really created the embers for this run. As I was praying about this, when the opening became available and talking to my mom and my dad and my wife, um, we were talking about who who might run, who might be out there. And I just put all that aside. And I've been asking people to send me, to send me into the fight. And I'm somebody who shows up, who stands up and never gives up. And I think it's important people know that about me. When I say I'm on fire, I'm out here, not just campaigning, but sharing the good news. The people that have prayed for me, uh, laid on hands. Um, it's just been an amazing experience as people are coming up alongside me and around me in this campaign. Very good. All right. Well, we like that your focus is on family. We're all about family, family policy. But uh, my next question is, legislatively speaking, is there a concern that you have kind of a primary concern uh, that you're running on? And if you were elected in this position, what do you hope to accomplish in office? Yes, I'd say the top priority, because it's what I'm hearing from constituents, is protecting public safety. Uh, we have a lot of uh, atypical challenges in the district because we do have apex predators that we're dealing with, wolves, bears, cougars, uh, interactions with livestock. But we're also suffering from the poison being imported into our community from the Mexican cartels. And I think it's just unconscionable that as a state we've become a sanctuary for that. What we allow, what we allow to be done in our name, um, it's just reprehensible. I'm, I'm proud to be supported by numerous sheriffs numerous prosecutors, law enforcement groups across the state who are coming alongside me. I think we have to get those handcuffs off our law enforcement, let them get out there and do their jobs. But the personally, the motivation for me is just leave our kids alone. Keep the political ideologies out of the classroom. There should be no flag in the classroom uh, other than the American flag. And that's that's been a strong feeling of mine. Um, critical race theory, diversity, equity, inclusion, all these things, all these ideologies in the classroom, I just want them out as a parent. That's not how I'm raising my children. Um, and I think the more that I talk to parents and grandparents, they're seeing our schools in, as indoctrination centers. I also think we have a big problem when it comes to the gender issues with the trans ideology that's being pushed on our kids. I think that comes straight from the enemy and has to be fought back against hard. So I'm proud to be working in and networking with conservative school board members, uh, strategizing about how we can push back effectively at the legislative level. I do want distractions out of the classroom. So the cell phones that all these kids are carrying, um, I believe in the wait till eighth pledge. I don't think parents should be giving their kids cell phones, the bullying, the harassment, but also the access to um, online poison, things like pornography and these graphic novels that are in our libraries. I don't know I don't know where, when we woke up and, and people thought that was acceptable, but the more I learn about it, the harder I am committed to fighting against it. 
Thank you. Our fourth and final question is, there are about 18 issues that FPIW Action and FPIW uh, advocates for. Uh, any of those you would like to comment on, whether it's individual freedom, environmental stewardship, we gave you the list, but any that you would like to mention? I think individual freedom is something, um, it's obviously the, the third part of defending faith, family, and freedom. And I think our constitutional rights have been coming under increasing attack from Olympia. Um, I'm a um, big believer in the United States Constitution and in our state constitution, but also a third constitution, which is my biblical worldview. I think we each have our own constitution, who we are. Do we keep our commitments to our God, to our family, to um, in our marriages? And I think more and more I'm seeing marriages come under attack, the family come come under attack. And I think going back and understanding that our rights come from God and they're only secured by the Constitution, but that it takes fearless defenders of freedom. We need more lions and not sheep at this time in our country. And I believe I'm in this race for a time such as this. So I appreciate people hearing what I have to say and learning more about me. All right. Well, thank you so much, Pat, for being on. We appreciate it. We know you got a lot going on right now and uh, big push here in these last couple of weeks. So we thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us and share a little bit about you and, and what you're all about. And uh, we wish you much luck in the next few weeks. Yes, I'm now back to my regularly scheduled programming in the car, listening to Shine 104.9 and going about my day. So thanks for the opportunity. All right, you bet. Well, I'm Brad Payne with FPIW Action. And I'm Brian Noble with FPIW. I want to remind you that there's no endorsement of candidates in this video, nor candidates' endorsements of FPIW or FPIW action. As we encourage you always, go out there and love your neighbor by faithfully stewarding the public square. And if you are one of our defenders, we, we ask that you defend and advance biblical values in the public square. God bless you.